How about them boys? Offense, try to get the ball to the middle of the field. And he throws there to Zay Jones, who comes down with it for a touchdown. Burrow tries to keep it alive, scrambles. Throws it back in the end zone, but is he out of bounds first or is it a touchdown? I think he was out of bounds, they're discussing it. As they are in conversation, was he out when he threw? The result of the play, touchdown. Can the Raiders pull another one out? Fourth and goal. The season comes down to this. It is car end zone. Intercepted. Jermaine Crick. Jones had just 129 yards rushing this season. Jones, pump. Rifle downfield. Intercepted. Jones. Soft toss. Wide open. Touchdown. Kicker four. More than that, the officials correct Bills. First playoff win in 25 years. Play action. Allen. Deep downfield. Wide open. Touchdown. Extra men on the rush. Eagles pick it up. Hurts throws and it's picked. Intercepted by Shaq Barrett. And with Boston Scott getting the handoff. And he breaks loose. Scott is gone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So started inside Eagles territory. Brady Evans is in for the touch on the 25 Debo follows his blockers and takes off inside the 10 what a run touchdown set about that here's Odell Beckham Jr. he wants to throw it got a man down the sideline it's Cam Akers and the Rams aren't done yet with some razzle dazzle Hollywood Sorry for my voice. Kind of lost it. Either way, guys, we got the uh, uh, 2022 NFL Super Bowl weekend, weekend recap. Let's get right into it. On Saturday, the Raiders played the Bengals. Raiders um, looking for um, a playoff win. They have not gotten that in a pretty long time. Uh, 2001, exactly. They lose 26-19. Great game, though. Bengals. Uh, they win their first playoff game since 1991. Raiders, their playoff uh, winless streak continues. Derek Carr, 29-54, 310 touchdown pick. Josh Jacobs, 13 for uh, 83, ran the ball really efficiently. Darren Waller had a couple of big catches. Zay Jones had a touchdown. Hunter Renfro had a couple of big catches. 
Denzel Perryman was decent. Max Crosby had a big sack. Desmond Truvon got burned a couple times, but overall, I'd say he had a good game. Quinter Jefferson had a big sack, and yeah, that's about it. For the Bengals, Joe Burrow played solid football, 24 of 34, 244, two touchdowns. Joe Mixon didn't really run the ball that well. Jamar Chase had a big game, 9 for 116. CJ Zama had a touchdown. Same thing with Tyler Board. Of course, you saw that in the highlights. Logan Wilson had a huge tackle um, towards the end of the game. Jermaine Pratt, of course, had that uh, game-winning interception. Sam Hubbard, he had a fantastic game. B.J. Hill, Trey Hendrickson, both played amazing. B.J. Hill is going to have to step up because um, Larry Ogunjobi's out for the rest of the season uh, with a foot injury. D.J. Reader, of course, he didn't do a ton, but he did really suck up blocks today. Decent. Okay, now let's go to the keys of the game. For the Raiders' offense... I said run the ball, Josh Jacobs 25 plus times. They didn't get that. Run the ball for over five yards per carry. They did do that. They didn't get 30 plus points. I'll give them an underscore. They played pretty well towards the end of the game. Overall, they were pretty inconsistent, but they had a chance to win at the end of the game, which is what you wanted if you were a Raiders fan. Overall, I think they played good. Raiders defense, they did stop the run. They did double Jamar Chase. They didn't get five plus sacks. They did get pressure on Joe Burrow, though. I'll give them an underscore. They just didn't do quite enough to win. I think they played good. Bengals defense offense run the ball 23 plus times. Couldn't do that. They didn't really run the ball well. Balance passes to T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Jamar Chase, and protect Burrow. They did the um, balance passes, but they really didn't protect Joe Burrow that great. I'll give them an underscore. They weren't the reason they won the game, but they played solid football. And yeah, they played well. Bengals um defense stopped the run. They didn't really do that. They didn't have to force you to do with turnovers. They got one turnover. I will give them a plus. They played really well. Next to the um next wildcard game. And it was the Patriots going home. Uh, they fall, uh, four, get blown out 47-17 over the Bills. Bills offense had their waist on seven drives. They had seven touchdowns, could move the ball, dictated the game. As well as you saw all season, they were dominant. Mac Jones wasn't great, 24-38-232, two touchdowns, two picks. Uh, they, when they ran the ball, it just didn't get it going. That was about it. Kendrick Bourne had two touchdowns, both in garbage time. Jacoby Myers couldn't really get open. Uh, Devin McGordy had two, uh, was just not great. Their whole defense was great. He got cooked a couple times, but J.C. Jackson was really the reason. Another big reason they lost the game. He didn't show up. Uh, the whole defense really didn't show up. It was cold, but got to show up. Josh Allen was perfect, 21 of 25, 308, five touchdowns. This was, um, let's see, he had a 88% completion percentage. It, I mean, what is it? Yeah, he had an 84% completion percentage. Don't get really much better than that. When they ran the ball, it's really well. It's kind of hard to get any better than this, but they ran the ball pretty darn well. Dawson Knox had two touchdowns. Gabriel Davis had a touchdown. Damiano Sanders had a touchdown. Tommy Doyle, of course, had a touchdown at the end of the game. Defensively, they were really good. Levi Wallace had a pick. Uh, Micah Hyde had a pick. They had one, two, three sacks. Uh, honestly, hats off to where is he? Um... Harrison, no, yeah, it's Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips, uh, Phillips, Carlos, uh, Basham Jr., and, uh, and Oliver were absolutely fantastic up the middle. They were really containing the run. Nothing, they couldn't, they didn't really give up any big run plays. As a result, they ended up winning. That go to the keys to the game. So, um, I said for the Patriots offense, run the ball for over 235 plus times. They couldn't even get close to that. They're getting a minus. Their defense, obviously getting a minus. They stunk it up. Bill's offense, of course, they're getting a plus. They were phenomenal, like... You can't get any better than that. Like, this game, it was really easy to agree to run the ball. They didn't really, really run the ball that many times, but they ran the ball well. Ten was first down, first half. They got that, like, easily. Stopped the run. Um, yeah, I'd say they did that. Next game. Final score is this evening. This game was a blowout. Bucks win it. Um, they're going to, um, divisional round. They won 31-15 over the Eagles. Who are eliminated, obviously. Jalen Hurts was not great. 23 43, 258 touchdown, two picks. They couldn't really run the ball even when they wanted to. Uh, Dallas Goddard had a really good game. Uh, Devontae Smith struggled. Kenneth Gainwell had some big catches. A couple garbage time, had a garbage time touchdown. Defensively, Alex Singleton was okay. Um, they really struggled to do a lot, but they could have played a lot worse. They were decent in the first half. Devon Hargan had a big sack. Other than that, they really didn't do a ton. Bucks, um, Tom Brady was just basically Tom Brady, 29 37, 271, two uh, touchdowns. They didn't really run the ball that efficiently, but they did get the job done. Of course, ran it for over 100 out of two touchdowns. Got to be better against, um, we'll see in a second later. 
Uh, but they're going to have to be better next week. Mike Evans, 9 catches for 117 yards. So I'm really solid game. Gio Bernard got him involved in the receiving game. We'll talk about that later. Gronk had a touchdown. Uh, defensively, they were perfect, basically. Mike Edwards had a pick. Antoine Winfield, Steve McClendon, both had sacks. And Shaquille Barrett had a big pick, too. Now I'll go to the keys again. E no. Eagles offense run the ball 40 plus times. Not even close. Nope. They, they can get close to that. They're getting a minus. They just couldn't really run. They didn't really run the ball. If they did run the ball, they would have won this game. I'm just, well, they wouldn't have won this game, but it would have been a lot closer. Eagles defense, they didn't really show up. Yeah, they could, they did stop the run decent, but they couldn't get really a ton of pressure on Brady. They couldn't double Mike Evans a lot because they were so uh, keen on getting off to Brady and, sack, um, and stopping the run. They did double Gronk, though. That's the reason he didn't have a huge game. I'll give them an underscore. They weren't terrible considering how bad... The um, but um, their offense was honestly they could have been a lot worse. Yeah, they gave 31 points, but it's the buck kind of expected if you're gonna be on the field that much. Bucks offense run the ball for 4.5 yards. Curry couldn't get that. Five plus targets to Le'Veon Bell. It was to Gio Bernard, so kind of the same thing. 20 plus targets to uh, Gronkowski and Evans and protect Brady. Protect Brady was definitely something they did. They did get targets to the running backs. Um, they didn't really run the ball that well. Mike Evans definitely didn't get even close to that many targets. Honestly, I think they got like yeah, they got close to 20. I'll give them a plus. Uh. Eagles deep, it was more the fact, yeah, I'll give them a plus. They played really well. Um, overall, the Bucks offense did what they wanted to. They couldn't really run the ball well, but um, they're going to have to run it better next week. But I think they played well enough to win. Bucks defense contained Hurts, and yeah, they played awesome. It's hard to uh, play that well against a good running offense, and they did it. Next game. Okay, an upset first one. Uh, 40, uh, Niners beat the uh, Cowboys 23-17. This was a great game. Um... Jimmy Garoppolo, 16 to 25, 172 interception. Of course, if you didn't know, came down to the final play. But Dak and the rest of the offense had no urgency, leading to the, the clock running out. Elijah Mitchell got the job done. wasn't very efficient, but he got the job done, like I said. Debo, like, old, same old, same old. Uh, they didn't really do much in the passing game, though. Defensively, they were beasts. Um, two, three, four, five sacks. They had five sacks and interception from K1 Williams. They got out to Prescott a lot. They played awesome. Dre Greenlaw had a fantastic game. Mano Mosley, not so much. Defensively, um, I mean, for the Cowboys, uh, Dak was okay. 23-43, 254 touchdown on a pick. They didn't run the ball well. So, Jolt said it's one of his best games this season. Amari Cooper had some big catches and he had a touchdown. CeeDee Lamb and Cedric Wilson did not show up. Cedric Wilson had some catches, but he wasn't great. Lane Vanders, five for, and, um, eight assists. He was honestly all over the field. Trayvon Diggs was about average. Anthony Brown had a nice interception. Other than that, not so much. Uh, their defense honestly played decent. Now we go to the keys to the game. In my opinion, 49ers definitely shouldn't have won this game. Like a lot of the games they won, but the Cowboys couldn't uh, manage the clock well, and as a result, they ended up losing. But for the 49ers, offense, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. They did that. Um, they had some decent runs towards the end of the game. I'll give them an underscore. They weren't very good. In the, they were terrible in the passing game. The, honestly, the Cowboys defense played really well, but they didn't enough to win, so I'll give them the underscore. 49ers defense just sacked Dak the whole game. They were awesome. They were going to get a plus. This, I think this thing just glitched out. Uh, but for the Cowboys offense, win the line of scrimmage, absolutely not. Uh, play action screens, not really. CD Lim and Amari Cooper didn't really show up a ton. They're getting a minus. They put up 17 points with the best offense in the NFL in terms of statistics. They didn't look like that. Cowboys defense, honestly, I will give them a flush. They played really well. They didn't give into the run game. They did stack the box. They didn't triple Debo, though. If Debo didn't have that type of running game, they would have. They probably definitely would have won. Cowboys defense played really well. They didn't re like watch the film. They didn't really give up any bad plays. Next game. Now we're going to the Sunday night football game. Uh, Chiefs came out at 42-21. Steelers honestly didn't really have a chance. They they're going home early. Big Ben. Probably the end of his career. Uh, Chiefs going on. They're going to play in the division round at home, of course, because they are the two seed. Big Ben, though, 29-44-215, uh, two touchdowns. He was good, just not great. They couldn't run the ball uh, for once <laughs> against the Chiefs. Uh, James Washington uh, had a big catch. Deontay Johnson had a nice touchdown. They didn't really do much else, though. Juju was just bad. 
Terrell Edmonds, whole defense really stunk it up. Yeah, they had three sacks and an interception. Devin Bush's one was really nice. T.J. Watt had a good game. But you got to have a great game to beat the Chiefs, and they didn't have it. Chiefs, like, Patrick Mahomes, other than the interception, he went 30 of 39, 405, five touchdowns. He was basically just awesome to watch, honestly. He was really careful with his throws, which is what you want to see. You don't want to make, be careless, but he did, he just light up the um, defense. He had a one deep touchdown. Other than that, didn't really do a ton, but I'm joking. He had a great game. Jarek McCannon ran the ball really efficiently. Travis Kelsey, of course, had a long touchdown, and he had a couple big catches. Jarek McCannon, same thing. Tyreek Hill. Um, had a couple of negative catches, but he had that like 35 yard touchdown. Uh, Byron Pringle had a touchdown reception from Travis Kelsey, and he had another one too. Nick Algrady, the um, almost lineman, had a nice one too. Defensively, they were really good. Two sacks. Um, not really amazing in the past game, but they were decent. Let's go to the keys of the game. Okay, for um, the Steelers offense run the ball last year was 35 plus times, 200 yards, and 45 percent of possession time. Set, uh, they couldn't do that. Like, the only reason the way they'd win this is by running the football down the Chiefs throat. They couldn't do that. They're getting a minus. Yeah, they could. They didn't play terrible. They did throw the ball decent. That wasn't garbage time a little bit. But I got to say, it was just you, um, Big Ben would have had to play an amazing game. He did not have a bad game. He was actually pretty good, but couldn't get it done. Steelers defense, they just were bad. Like, they did get pressure on Mahomes sometimes. They did play uh, play a little bit of two side safeties. They just couldn't get it done. Mahomes was just doing his thing. And they just didn't stop it, honestly. Didn't stop the run either. Chiefs almost run the ball 25 plus times for over 150. They didn't get that, but they did run the ball really well. Screens and checkdowns 20 plus times do that. 20 plus targets to Hill and Kelsey. They got close to that. They had a lot of targets. A couple of them were uh, bad passes and tips and stuff like that. But honestly, they got a plus. They put up 42 points. Sorry about that, but... Um, two sovereigns, I'm giving a plus. They put up 40 points, uh, 42 points. You can't really get much better than that. Defensively, they didn't get six sacks, but they did stop it around. I'm giving them a plus, too. Great overall team performance by the Chiefs. For the first ever Monday Night Football playoff game, the Rams just basically blew out the Cardinals, put them on their seat, uh, feet, and just told them to go home. Uh, Rams won 34-11. This game was an absolute blowout. Kyler Murray was terrible, 19 of 34, 137, two interceptions. Uh, Chase Edmonds was not good. They could, when they ran the ball, they rarely ran the ball, and it wasn't good. If, um, Christian Kirk had a decent game, six for 51. They couldn't really do much else. Jalen Thompson was okay. They didn't really do much defensively. Marcus Golden had one sack. That was about it. Rams, Matt Stafford did his job, 13-17, 202, two touchdowns, zero turnovers. He had a rush touchdown. Cam Akers, yeah, wasn't efficient, but he looked awesome. Sony Michelle was really efficient, though, with power back. Cooper Cup, quiet night, but he still had a decent game. Odell, 454, a touchdown. Cooper Cup will be back next week, I can guarantee it. We'll, we'll see in a second why. Von Miller, great game. He had a sack, six tackles. That's what we want to see. Jalen Ramsey, really quiet, but he had a decent game. Uh, Leonard Floyd, same thing. Where's Aaron Donald? Aaron Donald had to have a sack. He didn't really do a ton, but he did get in the backfield a lot. Uh, David Long forced a pick six. Marcus Coleman had a nice pick two. Rams defense dominated. I mean, if the Rams want to win the Super Bowl, this is how. Like, the Cardinals offense run the ball for 200 yards. Utilize Kyler in the run game. They couldn't do anything. They're getting a minus defensively. Stop the run. Didn't do that. Pressure Stafford didn't really do that. They're getting a minus. Cardinals just didn't really show up and didn't play well. Run the, run the ball, no turnovers. Did exactly that. Rams offense would... If the Rams will win the Super Bowl if they run the football and don't have any turnovers because it's really hard to beat a team like that with their talent. Rams even stopped the run under 20 min uh, minutes on the field. They did exactly that. Five plus sacks, three plus turnovers. They did, got close to five plus sacks. They did get three, um, two turnovers. They played um, basically great football. Best game of their season. They get a plus. Now let's go look at the divisional round. As you see right here, the Bengals um, and Titans play at 4, 4.30. Um, this is the one versus four seed. Titans trying to go. I mean, 49ers, Packers, another one. Rams, Bucks, 6v1, 4v2. Like the Rams, I'm telling you, that the Rams are just going to do what they did last time against them. Torch the secondary. Bucks secondary is still banged up and it's not good. Bills, Chiefs, probably the best game of the weekend, 3 versus 2. Pro most interesting, too. I'll definitely be watching these two. 
definitely watching the whole weekend. Uh, all great games. Hope you guys like it though. Uh, either way, like this, we're moving to the end of the um 2022 NFL Super Wild Card Weekend recap.